Morning swans. Look at that. We're greeted by swans and frost. Wow. Man, oh man. It's a chilly morning. But look at that. It's a gorgeous morning. Another sunny, beautiful start to the day. coming honey yeah another early morning here aboard boogaboo as i take us over to when i say us i mean you and me because anchor girl's still on the dock we're going over to the gas dock for yes pump out number two for the season so paul why such an early pump out number two because uh it's only been a week since we got the last one less than but we had the grandkids up for Mother's Day over the weekend, this past weekend. And um, so <laughs> the kids have to use the toilet all the time on the boat. I think our our youngest granddaughter, we have two granddaughters and a little grandson who turns two this September. Um, the youngest one, I think it became a game with her to flush the toilet on the boat because you know it's so different. And I had to warn her a couple of times you can use the toilet as much as you want, kid, but as everybody knows, only flush a little bit of toilet paper at a time. So the system is still working fine. No clog, clogs, no issues. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think the system's working a little bit better, as a matter of fact, right now. Um, maybe as a result of all that use. Uh, but since uh, there was a lot of flushing <laughs> from everybody, um, I, we're just going to take advantage of uh, no wind this morning and go for a pump out just to be ahead of the game. Uh, it's supposed to get uh, quite windy later today and um, as it has been all week long and then over the weekend lots of rain uh, over the next couple of days but it is a long weekend coming up here in Ontario, Canada. It is the Victoria Day long weekend or which is commonly known locally as the May 2-4 long weekend which is always the start of the uh, the unofficial start of summer which is hoo-ha so we're gonna be on the boat for four nights and three days so want to make sure all the systems are operating as expected so anchor girl is up here at the gas dock waiting for me and taking some beautiful footage do you see that last uh, footage that she took when I took the boat over Last week, just gorgeous. man <laughs> my nose keeps running every time I get a little bit of cold wind my nose runs continuously it makes it for uh, fun days when I'm working outside on the job site <clears throat> anyways um, heading back to the slip 
Yay, another pump out, pump out number two of many, hopefully, for the season. And I just want to point something out when I come around the corner, but I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, no real big plans for this weekend. I might work on putting a switch on that, uh, our radio, our radio system, the uh, JL head unit, because I had mentioned before, that thing just powers up all by itself. Um, so I'm going to put an interrupter switch ahead of that, so that when the switch is off, there's no power going to that unit. We have to do the same thing for the chart plotter. Do not know why those things come on all by themselves. I just don't know, so. But I do know I can stop that from happening. Yeah, as I come around the corner back towards our slip, you'll see that beautiful 400, uh, that C Ray 400 Slam Bridge looks about the same vintage as our 97 that we had. And as you know, the reason we sold it was because it was a sail in the wind. The problem is with this big boat, there's so much windage on it. it, it acts as a sail. And this guy has twin diesels plus a bow thruster. And one of the crew that work at the marina here, he was bringing the boat over for the customer. The boat was just launched yesterday. And the wind was giving him a hard time. Uh, so I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I volunteered to help on the dock to bring it over. And he was actually commenting that our old boat, because he had dr driven it after we sold it, and he said it actually handled better than this thing with the diesel power, which was really, really surprising. This thing was so far away from the dock yesterday with the wind pushing away and he couldn't bring it around. He actually drove forward because he thought he was dragging on the bottom, which he wasn't. So beautiful, gorgeous boat, but much happier with the one we have now. Well, I'm happy to have that job out of the way. Now we're going to be good for the weekend. I uh, just got back to the slip, obviously and I'm taking off. I'm actually going to work now. So Anchor Girl has helped me and she's going to do some weekend food shopping and stuff like that and get ready to bring the little kitty cat aboard. So I'm going to work and then I will be back late this afternoon. So yeah, uh, this weekend hopefully I will have a chance to um, put a switch on that uh, stereo head unit as well as the chart plotter and get those things a little bit more under control, a little bit more around to my way of thinking, you know, almost laying. Uh, apart from that, I really, really got to wash the boat. Oh my God, it's, it's so full of gritty dust from when it was parked over closer to the parking lot. The main parking lot that is, uh, you just, I mean, there's a main road that goes by and uh everybody drives by like i say like freaking idiots i would say half the cars are severely ex exceeding the speed limit and so they kick up a lot of dust every, every time somebody pulls in that parking lot it kicks up, kicks up dust and as i mentioned we've had a lot of wind lately so uh all that dust is all over the boat and it's gritty and it's ooky and it like anchor girl says it needs a bath so hopefully i can do that this weekend as well and uh just get it shiny again uh, eventually, you probably noticed in my last video and maybe today because Anchor Girl was filming. I haven't seen that footage yet, so I'm not quite sure what it's showing. But the starboard side, I still have to remove those pinstripes. Really not on the agenda for this weekend, um, but you never know. Yeah, and I doubt I'm going to film that. I'll just I'll make a comment about it and let you guys know that it has been done and show you what it looks like after the fact <laughs> if you want to see what it looks like for me removing stripes on this boat i already have two videos so i think that tells the whole story so yeah shaping up to be a gorgeous morning i don't want to leave the boat i never want to leave the boat yeah eventually i won't leave this boat anchor girl and i more on that way down the road Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, and I will uh, see you on the next one, my friends. Looking forward, as always, to your positive comments. And please let me know if you've been launched. I've had a lot of comments lately with people saying that they're not going to launch until like the end of May or, or even into June. Like crazy. Man, it's, 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 it's cold right now, but it's basically summer. Like I say, this coming weekend is the unofficial start to summer here in Ontario area so I hope you guys can be out on your boats and enjoy your boats and maybe do some filming okay all right uh, shout out to uh, Jeff from Eternity Shore 
loved your last video man it looked really really good um so keep it up and everybody take a look on youtube and see who's out there voting and if i don't know about it i should know about all of the youtube channels with power boats on it but uh, maybe leave me a comment in the uh down below and let me know if there's a particular boating themed channel that you like to watch sailboats down the caribbean no not into that sailboats crossing the atlantic solo don't really care uh, but if you know if there's power boating channels worthy of watching let me know leave me a link down in the comments i would love to find it because i i probably watch as much or if not more youtube than you guys and it's all about boating it's all about boating like Anchor Girl keeps saying, it's all about the water. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Go away. Okay, just a quick little tiny time video clip. Yeah, are you silly? Oh boy, eh? Hey. Oh, 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 oh,